Bordered by Bangladesh on the north, west and south with a total of 856 kilometers and on the east by the states of Assam and Mizoram, the northeastern states of Tripura, the third smallest state in the country located in an isolated hilly region of the country, is endowed with unexplored forest, awe-inspiring valleys and waterfalls, and sky-touching mountains which tagged the state with natural wonder and a rich variety of tourist attractions like wildlife, archaeological monuments, palaces, temples, mosques and Buddhist stupas of religious significance. Tripura covers a total of 10,491 square kilometer with a total population of 36,73,917 constituting 0.3% of the country's population according to the 2011 census. Nestled in between the states of Meghalaya, Assam and Mizoram, Tripura is another gem in the collection of the tourist states in the nation. Tripura is a natural wonder in its every inch. There are a lot of heritage sites and archaeological monuments in the region which represent its rich culture and traditional legacy. Tripura was divided into four districts, but with effect from 21st January 2012, four more new districts were divided, making a total of eight districts in the state. The state of Tripura was one of the ancient princely states of India. According to the Rajmala, the Chronicles of Kings, Tripura was ruled continuously by as many as 184 Tripuri kings with sovereign and independent status prior to its merger with the Indian Union in 1949. After the death of the last ruling king, Bir Bikram Kishor Dev Burman. His successor, Kirit Bikram, was 13 years old at that time of the merger. King Bir Bikram had died in 1947, after which a council of regency was formed to run the administration under the presidency of Queen Kanchan Prabha Devi the mother of Kirit Bikram Dev Burma. Within a few months after the unnatural demise of King Bir Bikram Kishor, Queen Kanchan Prabha Devi as the president of the Council of Regency came under severe pressure to opt to join the Indian Union. On the advice of the government of India, she dissolved the Council of Regency and became the sole regent on 12th January 1948. More than a year later, on 9th September 1949, she signed the Tripura Merger Agreement and with effect from 15th October 1949, Tripura became part of Indian Union. It was thereafter administered by the Chief Commissioner as a C-category state. Merging with India in 1949, Sachindra Lal Singh of the Indian National Congress was the first Chief Minister of the state from 1st July 1963 till 1st November 1971. There was a president's rule in Tripura then, till 20th March 1972, until Shukumar Shengupta of Indian National Congress began his tenure as Chief Minister till 31st March 1977. From 1st April 1977 till 25th July 1977, Prafulla Kumar Dash of Congress for Democracy was the Chief Minister followed by Radhika Ranjan Gupta of Janata Party till 4th November 1977. There was a president's rule again from 5th November 1977 till the 5th January 1978 when Nripen Chakrabarti became the first communist chief minister of Tripura. Later again the communist fell down and the Indian National Congress rose again and was in power from 5th February 1988 till 19th February 1992 with Sudhir Ranjan Majumdar and Samir Ranjan Burman as the chief ministers. Later after a span of at least one month of president's rule again, the Communist Party of India came to power in Tripura with Dasharat Dev as the chief minister from 10th April 1993 till 11th March 1998.
CPIM's Manik Sarkar of Tripura's Dhanpur Assembly constituency has begun his tenure from 11th March 1998. But Manik Sarkar serving as the Chief Minister of Tripura was voted out by the Bharatiya Janata Party which emerged as the biggest rivalry for the communists in Tripura and scripted historical win in the Tripura General Assembly election 2018. Sworn in on 9th March 2018, Biplap Kumar Dev has become the first BJP Chief Minister of Tripura. Agartala is the state capital and offers a lot of places which can be visited and enjoyed by the tourist. A lot of tribes stay in the beautiful region and the land is rich in the natural beauty and cultural aspects. In the capital Agartala, the imposing Ujjanta Palace is a set among the Mughal gardens. And Gedumia's mosque has white marble domes and towers. South of the city, near Mahal, the Sama Palace sits in the middle of Lake Rudrasagar and blends Hindu and Islamic architectural styles. Ujjanta Palace, now a state museum, which showcases the lifestyle, arts, culture, tradition, and utility crafts of communities residing in Northeast India. It was the home of the ruling Manikya dynasty until the Tripura's accession to India in October 1949. The name Ujjanta Palace was given by Ravindranath Tagore, the first Asian Nobel Prize winner. The palace was owned from the royal family by the Tripura government in 1972 and was used to house the State Legislative Assembly until July 2011, when the Assembly moved to a new location of some 6 km away to the north of Agartala in Gurkhabosti new capital complex. The Tripura Legislative Assembly or Tripura Bidhan Sabha is the unicameral legislature of the northeastern Indian state of Tripura with 60 members of the Legislative Assembly. So shop the various handicrafts items available in various markets which are as colorful and beautiful as the tribal culture of the place. Agartala is also known for its tribal festivals like Karchi and Gariya Puja. The local tribal language Kogborok is widely spoken and is one of the primary means of communication apart from Bengali, English and Hindi. Tripura is well connected to other parts of the country by roadways, airways and trains. Along with the moving hands of the clock, the transportation system of the state has moved on, with newly designed airport to come up soon as international airport. And on the other, the express trains has added another feather to the state's railway connectivity, which is extended to neighboring Bangladesh via Agartala Akhaura checkpost. The extended road is currently under construction. The Agartala Akhora checkpost is the second largest trading point between India and Bangladesh after Benapol and Petrapol with West Bengal. The Akhora checkpost in the western part of Agartala is a border terminal between India and Bangladesh. This multi use integrated checkpost has been developed to facilitate trade and transport between the two nations. This is the second multi purpose ICP after Atari in India.